Hello kids, welcome to Math Tutor. Today we are going to learn a multiplication trick involving 5. You want to multiply any number like 12 times 5. If you know the 12 table, you know the answer. If you don't know the 12 table, what you can do is first you have to put a 0 in the 1's place. Okay, and then whatever number you are going to multiply, make it half. Means you have to divide that number by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is equal to how much? Half of 12 is nothing but it's equal to 6. So the answer is 60. 12 times 5 equals to 60. Let us see 28 times 5. Do you know the 28 table? No, right? So what you can do is first remember put 0 in the 1's place and whatever number you are need to multiply make it half nothing but 28 divided by 2 that equals to 14. So remember first you have to put 0 and then whatever number you are making it half that number will come in next to the left of side of the 0. Got it? Let us see one more number, 46 times 5. So, first what you have to do, you have to put 0 here in the ones place and then, kids, do you remember, you have to half the number, that is 46 divided by 2, that becomes 23. So, the answer is 230. 46 times 5 equals to 230. Let us see one more number. 222 times 5. Same rule. First put 0 in the 1's place. And then half the number. 222 divided by 2. That is nothing but 111. That number comes to the left side of 0. 1, 1, 1. So, 222 times 5 equal to 1110. That is the answer. Let us see bigger number. 1028 times 5. First, put 0 in the 1's place. And then what you have to do? You have to halve the number. 1028 divided by 2. If you halve it, what is the answer? 514. I am going to write final 14 to the left side of 0. 5, 1, 4. So, 1028 times 5 equal to 5140. Right. So, if you observe here, we are doing the numbers which are all even numbers. This trick is applicable for even numbers. It will be very easy in doing calculations. But, what about? Or numbers. There is a trick for this too. If you are going to multiply with odd number involving 5 like 13 times 5. 13 is an odd number. If you have 13 by 2 it won't be a proper division. Right. There will be a reminder. So what you need to do is you have to subtract 1 from 13. Whatever number you are going to do the multiplication, first you have to subtract it. So it becomes 12. 12 divided by 2, that equal to 6. And before keeping the 6 here in one's place, if you are doing multiplication with all numbers, you have to keep 5. Okay? One's place is always 5. And then you can keep the whatever half number you got here, 6. You have to keep to the left side of 5. So, 13 times 5 equal to 65. Let us see one more example. 37 times 5. So, here, if you remember, this is an odd number. So, first in the ones place, you have to keep 5. And then, 37 is there. Make it 1 less than. So, 37 minus 1, that equal to 36. And then after getting this, you have to half it. That is 36 divided by 2. What is 36 divided by 2? 
to ones are two row age is sixteen so it becomes eighteen thirty six divided by two equals to eighteen so eighteen will come to the left side of five so one hundred and eighty five is the answer let us take one more number two hundred and eighty nine times five so here this is an odd number so in the ones place five will come and then what we have to need to do we have to make it one less right so 289 minus 1 it will become become 288 then you have to half it that is divided by 2 so what's the answer 144 this 144 will come to the left side of 5 that is 144 so the answer is 1445 i hope you understood this multiplication trick this will be very useful for computer exams. Thank you for watching us. Please subscribe and share our video.